Many years ago, the writer sat in a tent one dismal, rainy afternoon, where a servant of the Lord was presenting the gospel of his grace. Not a word of the text or texts used, nor of what was said by the speaker has remained with me, and I have never been conscious of having heard a word. But in the midst of the discourse, an experience came to me that was the turning point in my life. Suddenly a light shone about me, and the tent seemed illumined as though the sun were shining. I saw Christ crucified for me, and to me was revealed for the first time in my life the fact that God loved me, and that Christ gave himself for me personally. It was all for me. If I could describe my feelings, they would not be understood by those who have not had a similar experience, and to such, no explanation is necessary. I believed that the Bible is the Word of God, penned by holy men who wrote as they were moved by the Holy Ghost, and I knew that this light that came to me was a revelation direct from heaven. Therefore I knew that in the Bible I should find the message of God's love for individual sinners and I resolved that the rest of my life should be devoted to finding it there and making it plain to others. The light that shone upon me that day from the cross of Christ has been my guide in all my Bible study. Wherever I have turned in the sacred book, I have found Christ set forth as the power of God to the salvation of individuals, and I have never found anything else. The Bible was written for no other purpose than to show the way of life. It contains history and biography, but these are parts of the gospel message. Not one line is written except to reveal Christ. Whoever reads it for any other purpose than to find in it the way of salvation from sin, reads it in vain. Studied in the light of Calvary, it is a delight, and things that would otherwise be obscure are made clear as the noonday.